Good morning guys, Mark here again and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you love cars and DIYs and basically anything car related, you might want to consider subscribing and check out my playlist. On today's video guys, I'm gonna uh, test one of the products that I uh, uh, ordered uh, online and uh, I'm gonna teach you guys on how to uh, diagnose or at least rule out some uh, basic electrical problem in your uh, engine specifically the uh, the ignition system so I'll show you on uh, how to diagnose the uh, the um, uh, problem on your ignition system all right guys so for this DIY I'm gonna teach you guys on how you will be able to diagnose um, the um, uh, ignition uh, system of your car specifically uh, Hyundai Eon for this uh, video or um, uh, any car in uh, particular all right so the ignition chain uh, ignition system is actually a crucial part of the engine without the ignition system there's no basically electricity or the there's no spark that's going to ignite the gasoline inside the uh, combustion chamber to uh, run the engine um, for us to be able to diagnose um, our ignition chamber um, to which is the one at full we will need to uh, you don't actually need to have uh, the uh, product that we'll be reviewing today but it's a good product to have so we'll uh, see if it's um, going to work or uh, it's gonna uh, fail okay so on modern vehicles there is um, called a distribution block, which is this, okay? So for the Hyundai Eon, we do have uh, three separate uh, ignition coils. Um, in other vehicle, they only have, uh, especially the uh, carbureted engines, they do have one distributor. Um, and then there is a distribution cap depending on the number of cylinders uh, usually it has four or five at the top so for Hyundai Eon we have three separate ignition coils so one two and then three and then um, three spark plug wires or high tension wires going to your spark plug now for us to be able to test um, to where the problem is we'll need to um, first check if there's continuity between the coil and going to your uh, spark plug. For us to be able to test that, uh, we will be using the um, ignition tester or spark, uh, spark plug tester, this one. So this just arrived yesterday. So we're gonna test it and uh, let's see if this works. A few moments later okay so for for us to test it uh, all you need to do is just remove one of these spark plug cap I already loosened up one so uh, and then using the uh, spark tester um, the metallic part goes to the um, stock uh, spark plug cap and then the cap that comes with the tester is the one that's going to go to the um, spark plug itself. Okay. okay, so just make sure it's in there and then let me just loosen up the wire on the bracket so it would be easier for us or for you guys to see okay so the idea guys would be 
if um, the spark coming from the coil is complete, there should be light coming uh, glowing on the tester. Uh, when doing this, uh, make sure that the engine is turned off and um, because the uh, metallic part on the tester is a bit long since this is universal but some spark plug cap this is actually enclosed so in our case uh, when doing this test just make sure that the um, that you won't touch any area close to this uh, metallic part because spark will definitely jump from here and it's uh, it's gonna give you quite a sting um, because the coil produces at least um, it transforms a 12 volt uh, current to uh, up to 20 to 30,000 kilovolts so it's gonna sting guys if you get uh, stung by the spark so just to be safe um, stay away from this metallic part okay and before starting the engine please please check for any damage uh, high tension wires because that's going to give you a zap as well uh, we will be starting the engine and check the tester and see if there's any light Okay, um, you'll see there is a light. Okay, um, let me see if, okay, let me zoom it further. All right, so you'll see there's lights, uh, light flashing there right there okay so that means the spark uh, coming from our coil number two is good um, and there's continuity on the uh, the uh, connection between the ha um, ignition coil the high tension wire and the spark plug cap Okay, so um, ignition uh, system or the coil number two is working perfectly fine as demonstrated by the tester. So this is really good. Um, you uh, actually eliminate or at least decrease the chance of you getting uh, shocked or sting by the, uh, the current coming from your coil or coming from the high tension wire basically um now what if let's say there is continuity um on the cap the coil and you're having uh you're still having a misfire uh when i say or when we say misfire uh what happens is um your engine uh erratically vibrates and then the uh, fuel consumption is at worst. Uh, okay, so um, when your uh, cylinder or the ignition system is complete, the engine should, should idle uh, very, very fine. There's no erratic vibration, um, no hard starting, and there shouldn't be any black smoke coming from your uh, uh, mufflers okay so let's go ahead and uh, i'm gonna sh demonstrate to you what is the typical idle if the engine has a misfire and now and now we will uh, plug the spark plug cap again on the uh, spark plug and uh, this should um, eliminate the uh, misfire or basically the uh, erratic vibration that 
we saw earlier. Um, I'm just making sure that the caps are secured. All right, so let's go ahead and fire up the engine. Okay, so the idle is motor. It uh, basically ran or started right away. So let's check the vibration. All right, so you'll notice there is less vibration on the engine and the engine is quieter okay compare the vibration from earlier and now so if you're having a misfire even if everything is uh plugged in the vibration is uh, uh too much it, the idle is erratic you have black smoke black smoke coming from to your uh, from your uh, muffler then you tested the continuity of the spark then the next thing to check would be the spark plug itself because the spark plug might have fouled out already or needs to be replaced um, even if the coil uh, throws in um, spark or basically uh power to your spark plug if the insulator or the electrode basically of your spark plug is uh fouled out then it will not produce any spark for your combustion chamber so for you to think of uh, find out uh which chamber is uh uh has a problem all you need to do is just remove the spark plug cap. If the idle didn't change or the, uh, yeah, the idle didn't change, then um, that means that the problem is in that cylinder. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate to you guys what happens if uh, there is a misfire on one or more cylinder in your car so when doing this please use a uh, either a thick rubber gloves or uh, tools a long nose in my case uh, all right so I'll be removing one of the spark plug cap like this and notice the idle change okay all right so you'll notice that the idle change, right? Like that. You see the vibration? Check that the vibration. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Do you hear that popping sound? That's actually the spark. All right, so it came back to normal. So that means there's no problem on that uh, ignition system and the spark plug is actually fine so if you pull the cap out the idle didn't change it still vibrates that means there is a problem on the spark plug itself all right guys so uh that concludes uh our tutorial on uh basically diagnosing our ignition system also a, a quick product review on the spark plug tester i um and i hope you find this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please click that subscribe button to uh, see more diy videos and car related videos and uh, again this is mark thank you so much for joining me today guys until our next video